Baby fever is real at VCU's Children's Hospital. 11 nurses, 11, recently gave birth all around the same time. Somebody's drinking something in the water. <laughs> yes, you can see them right behind us. Eight News reporter Alex Thorson joins us live after talking with one of those new moms. Alex. Yeah, you guys, if this doesn't make you happy, I don't know what will. VCU's Children's Hospital is experiencing a baby boom among its own nurses. Eleven nurses who welcome Richmond's babies to the world are now welcoming their own. Meet four-month-old Brooks. <laughs> One of 11 Richmond area babies with some pretty cool moms. It's awesome working with babies every single day. Nurse Kristen Harrison cares for sick or premature newborn babies at VCU's Children's Hospital. In August, welcoming Brooks, the first little one of her own. As a NICU nurse, everyone's always like, wow, like when you bring home your baby, you're going to know exactly what to do. Um, and as much as part of that is true, um, the other part of it is like, wow, like now I have this baby and what do I do? The new mom enjoying so a love she didn't know was possible, even when this happens or when he's ruining his outfit. Oh, okay. <laughs> but she's not joining motherhood alone. Ten of her fellow NICU nurses were pregnant this year, all giving birth over just a six-month period. That was actually a large fraction of our team. A tight-knit group before the babies came along. Actually, being pregnant together has, has bonded us even further. We have a group chat now, and it's like the NICU moms group. Um, so we're always chatting in there. With several nurses out on maternity leave around the same time. Our coworkers were awesome. They cheered us on along the way um, and really stepped up to help take care of those babies in the NICU. And tonight, the Children's Hospital tells me that all 11 of those nurses did get vaccinated against COVID while they were pregnant. The hospital urging other unvaccinated pregnant women to consider doing the same. In Chesterfield tonight, I'm Alex Thorson, 8 News.